Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. My wife has been caught cheating. Let me begin with some context. My wife and I are both 54 years old, M slash F. 31 years of marriage she works as a registered nurse at a hospital. I've been working for a house builder since I was 18 years old. We have two children, both of whom are in their 20s and have left the nest. We decided to follow my wife's ambition of owning a bed and breakfast when we were in our 40s. We've been searching for years on and off. We stumbled found a five-acre plot of land with a house constructed in the 1870s. The original owners were significant landowners in the region. They had a vast agricultural business enterprise. Over time, fewer members of the family decided to continue farming. Land parcels were auctioned off. Our town is experiencing growth spurts since it has become rather touristic due to certain, shall we say, natural formations and attractiveness. Farmland near major motorways is being devoured. We bought a home an acreage distant from the motorways. My wife and I have been renovating the whole home since we purchased it. Some basic maintenance has been neglected, and we wish to restore the mansion to its former glory of 150 years ago. In addition to earning a livelihood, my wife has been in charge of beautifying rooms while I finish up with mortgage payments. I'm refurbishing room by room, paying for all materials and expert assistance as required. Because I am somewhat handy, I do the majority of the job. The housing business has skyrocketed in recent years. We'd work eight days a week if we could. I was making a lot of money until last year, that is, we were out of work for a period in 2022 to the epidemic, and then material shortages began. Of course, my wife had been on the front lines for the previous 18 months. She worked at the hospital for weeks without taking any days off last year. The medical personnel remained at the hospital. They had rooms where numerous people slept together. To put it mildly, the crew got extremely close. They worked for four weeks and then took two weeks vacation starting in March of last year and continuing into the autumn, and then again after Thanksgiving. After the kids were grown, my wife always worked for others if they asked. She saw these young parents weep because they couldn't see their children. So during her downtime, she would give up her vacation time and provide it to the staff members who truly needed it. There were others who did the same thing. Her whole COVID experience had an impact on her, seeing people placed on ventilators, deaths, and so forth. She was no longer the same person, she was aloof. Our life had come to a halt. I put it down to her experiences or her age. I attempted to speak to her about it, but she said she simply didn't feel it anymore. We continued to collaborate on the home. We planned travels to a part of our state with a sizable Amish community. The Amish in this area are well known for their skill in woodworking and stitching. We purchased many pieces of furniture for the bedrooms, as well as handmade quilts. We had planned a three-day excursion to this region to acquire dining room furniture this past weekend. I also pay in wood from the demolition of an old barn, which I undertake as a side hustle. Barn wood is in high demand. My supervisor calls to inform me that everyone will be working the whole week since he was able to buy wood and shingles for a home we've been sitting on while waiting for supplies. I informed my wife that we may travel on Saturday and Sunday. She informs me on Friday morning that she is still going with some co-workers since there is an autumn festival going on. That night, I head to a nearby tavern. One of her employees approaches her to say hi. I inquire whether she intends to accompany me on the vacation. She had no idea about it. So I contacted the wife, wondering whether she was okay and who else was there with her. She responded by texting this friend, another close friend, and a buddy named Stevie. I'd heard this name a couple times in the previous several months. I had always assumed they were feminine up to that point. I asked her bartender if she knew this Stevie. She declined, but there is a Stephen who works for them. When will the wife return? On a Sunday afternoon. She has bags of tablecloths, napkins, and kitchen towels, among other things. She is showing me what she purchased. There was a tiny bag in one of the bags. She took it out, glanced inside, and said, Oh, not this bag. It's not for us. I just let it go. Later when I checked in the bag, I discovered that she had stashed it in a closet. It was decorations for a man cave for a college football team that I don't watch, therefore it wasn't for me. I requested to speak with her. I inquired once again as to where everyone had gone. She chose the same three persons each time. 
I simply wanted to know who Stevie was since we hadn't met before. She mentioned a lady of work with. I took out the man cave items and informed her I spoke with her buddy, who was supposed to be traveling last weekend, but her plans fell through. Then I asked again who Stevie was. She began to weep and told me who he was and that they were alone. They had an encounter. They have been since last year's hospital lockdown. As a result, she is currently residing in one of the completed bedrooms. I have access to our bedroom. On Monday, I'll consult with a lawyer. I'm at a loss for what to do with the home, the business, and the marriage. She was sorry she was caught, but not for the affair, she told me. I asked her if she was willing to call it quits with Stevie. She was unsure. Update. It's been a stressful couple of weeks. My wife and I were fighting as my business and side gigs picked up. I went to see a lawyer. He recommended we attempt to figure things out before he gets involved after I described everything. The residence is still not a company and hence cannot be sold. As one, we'd have to market it as an incomplete home, which would reduce the price. We spent well over $100,000 on the home, not including the mortgage. The lawyer will need to confer with a real estate attorney and maybe a business attorney. As a result, their fees will be hefty. So I approached the wife to ask if we can chat. I'm not sure whether she's ashamed about getting caught, but she's dug in her heels. She urged me to get out of the home. I informed her I had no intention of doing so. Then she retaliated by having me give up the master suite and relocate to one of the bedrooms. I assure her again that I don't intend to do it. She then says she'll be gone for a few days and will transfer all my belongings out and place them in the foyer for me to chose where I'll stay. As a result, I discontinued the discussion. I walked out to where I keep my supplies and got a new door lock with a push-button keypad. When we had visitors, I planned to put on the bedroom doors. After each visitor, we may modify the combination. I hung it on the master bedroom door. I went to work the following day. She was furious when I returned home after a day of receiving angry text for putting the lock on. How dare you lock me out of my bedroom, she raged. I requested if we could please discuss after some back and forth. She eventually consented. We sat down later that evening. I told her I was upset to learn of the affair and that I wished she had informed me she wasn't happy. She was deafeningly silent, so I kept doing that because, as far as I'm concerned, the marriage is finished. She just nodded her head. I then informed her that I had seen an attorney. Her expression took her off guard. I stated to the attorney that it would be great if we could reach an agreement on what to do. The home is our most valuable asset, and selling it would result in a significant loss. I can document that I have paid the mortgage, thus the home is mine, she added with a grin. No, I said, shaking my head. My lawyer indicated that the home is a marital asset. The mortgage is in both of their names. I then took out a couple of binders. Every receipt that I have spent is classified by room on what I have spent. I began this just out of curiosity and continued as we completed rooms. I have proof that I spent thousands of dollars renovating the residence. The receipts took her off surprise. She hasn't seen an attorney yet. I offer that we live in peace and complete the home jointly. The B&B may thereafter be established. At the time, she could buy me out of the company. She dug her heels in once again. No, I must go. If not, she intends to relocate Stephen, Stevie. This stung a little. I stood up and went to get a drink of water to gather my thoughts. When I returned to the table, I warned her that if I saw him in the home or on the land, I would begin demolishing everything he had done. I'd pull out every nail and screw I'd placed in. Every like fixture and plumbing fixture would be removed. I promised not to destroy them since I own them. I'd replace them with whatever old scrap material I could locate. I told you to think about it and talk to whomever is offering you dime store advice. Please let me know. She came to see me yesterday. We hadn't spoken in a few days. She asked if we could speak about it again. She had spoken with our children. I had contacted each of them and informed them of the situation. Our daughter advised that we remain in the home until it was finished and then start the company as I proposed. Then I could maybe walk out while still owning 50% of the company. Mom might operate the company by hiring an employee or two to assist run it, perform yard maintenance, and give mom a day off. I assured her I'd think about it, but my opinion of Stephen would not alter. So I have another meeting with the attorney. The main difficulty is that we will most likely not be in business until 2023. The exterior requires a lot of work, as does the landscaping, and we need to build a room for one of us to live in. 
The room I'm in is one of the available for rent. 